In this tutorial, we will create a glass paperweight from this default cube. We are doing it in EV for easy rendering. Let us first go to the light tab and change it to a sun type and change the power to 4. Now, we will modify this cube and model our paperweight. Let us first change it into a rectangular object instead of a cube. So, scale it up by 1.2 in the x-axis, and by 1.5 in the y-axis. Leave the z as it is. Now, go to the modifiers tab, and add a subdivision surface modifier. To avoid this kind of distortions, change the subdivision type to simple, so that we have only subdivisions without any distortion. Change the levels to 3, and then apply this modifier. Then add a cast modifier. The shape should be sphere. Change the factor to 1, and apply this modifier as well. After that, add a simple deform modifier. Select the bend option here. We can see the change, the object has now deformed in this direction, as the x-axis is selected here. Let the angle be 45, and apply this modifier. To make the surface smoother, add a subdivision surface modifier again, and change the levels to 3. This time we can take the default option. Finally, apply this modifier also. We have got our paperweight almost ready. The only thing remaining is its base. It should have a flat base around this position, so that we can place it on a flat surface. So we need to make a straight cut from here. I will show you the easiest way. First, add a cube. And scale it up, by a factor of 2, to make it larger than our object. Bring it little down, so that its top face cuts our object at the position where we need the base. We can fine-tune this from the properties. Let us make it exactly, minus 2.5. Now, select our object, and go to the Modifiers tab. Add a Boolean modifier. Ensure that the Difference option is selected. In the Object field, select the cube object we just added. Now, apply this modifier. Then select the cube and hit X, to delete it. Our model is now ready. We got a perfect shape for our paperweight. The next step is to add suitable materials to it. Let us first add a floor or tabletop before we work on the paperweight. So, add a plane from the Add menu. Make it large enough. We will first add a material for this tabletop. While the plane is selected, go to the Materials tab, and create a new material. You can change the color to whatever you like. Let us turn on the Rendered View mode. We can now see that the paperweight has partially gone down the floor or the tabletop. So we have to pull it up. In the Properties tab, let us move it up in the Z position. We will now add a glass material to our paperweight. For that, go to the Render tab and enable this option for screen space reflections. Also enable the refraction under this. In the Materials tab, Blender already added a material for the default cube which is now our paperweight. Just change this roughness to 0.1 and increase this transmission value to 1. Then scroll down, and enable this screen space refraction option. We got a glass material, which is nice, but it has a problem with this shadow. To fix this, first in the materials tab, change the shadow mode to alpha clip. Then open the shader editor. I have added one complete tutorial just on how to create a perfect glass material in EV. It has a detailed explanation for each step. The link is in the video description, you can watch that for a better understanding. So we will add the layer weight node to this alpha value. And we are done. The glass material is now perfect for the paperweight. Let us go to the last step, which is design and decoration. We need to add few colorful designs in the inside of this paperweight, to make it look more real. But before that, let us first hide our floor. Also, move the paperweight to one side, to clear the room for our next step which involves curve editing. To create a design, add a curve, or just a path. Then go to the edit mode. Edit the curve in whatever way you want, to give it a random shape. If you are new to curves, you can check my foundation level tutorial on curve editing, and how to convert any curve into a solid object. You can find the links below. OK, select two ends of this curve and select the New Segment option in the menu. 
We have now got a nice design. So, go back to the object mode. Then, from the object menu, select convert to, and select mesh. Again, go back to the edit mode. First turn on the vertex selection mode, then press A to select all the vertices, go to the vertex menu, and select this new face option. We now have a solid design created. Let us go back to the object mode. To add a material to it, create a new material in the materials tab, and change the color to anything bright. We need to resize this object, in order to place it inside our paperweight. Let us scale down its size by, 0.5. Now, we need to add few more such designs. Just add, few more curves, create 5 or 6 random designs like this, and apply different type of colors to them. I have already created few more such designs. Let us unhide them. So, these designs are created in the exact same way from curves, and converted into objects. Let us bring back the tabletop now. At the end, move our paperweight back to its original position, so that all the little designs go inside it. Ensure from all angles that the designs are entirely within the paperweight. You can make more intuitive shapes, or tiny leaves or even pearls or bubbles, for the interior design. So, our paperweight is ready. It looks really beautiful and nice. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.